give me strength, David S. Pumpkins. Give me strength to continue. Any questions? John. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Doug Balling. I'm Tony Fuentes. I'm Johnny LeBron. <laughs> Round two. Oh, God. Round. Dose in other languages. And uh, a quick recap from round one, Johnny. Uh, round one, the champagne of beers, Miller High Life, uh, the champagne of urine. Uh, we also had Pabst Blue Ribbon Light, or as they prefer to it, uh, refer easy. to it, Easy, which resembled beer, but had a head that was so dense not even light could escape it, its surface. It was very dense. And Natter Days... Natural light with uh, some sort of strawberry lemon, strawberry lemonade, which which so far is our our winner. Yeah, uh, as the least offensive thing we have we have foisted on our tongues and livers thus it, far. It put a sparkle on my tongue. <laughs> I don't think we're going to find a new better one this round as we move on to jumbo style, or as Doc preferred to call this round, extra large and in charge. Uh, go ahead and put one of the Funko Pops for size comparison. <laughs> Jesus. That's... <laughs> yeah, well, although we know technically uh, the Colt 45 doesn't qualify, I merely brought it for its uh, cultural legacy. Well, you brought it because it works every time. 60% of the time works every time. All right, so where would you like to start, Doctor? Might as well go. Alright, so I made a selection. I said, I said, Foster's, that's a cheap beer. There's a lot of it. I had never as a Foster's lager, but Foster's also apparently makes a premium ale, uh, which I had never seen before, the green can. So we'll start there. If memory serves, people who drink Foster's regularly refer to this as an oil can thing, right? Yes. They used to call this the oil can. Oil can. Because of the size. I'm going to tell you immediately that the color is off. What do you mean the color is off? It's almost orange. My favorite Foster's commercial was the uh, remote control one. Where the guy's in the bar and he throws a boomerang at this dude, hits him in the head, and gets up and changes the channel. It's boomerang. <laughs> they had a series where they would do stuff like that, and it was just one word. Just hitting somebody with a boomerang? Well, no. Or just, just that other... one was a boomerang. But they had a series where like, they would do something, and then they would just say one word at the end. That would reflect what that was. Jaundice. <laughs> Jaundice. No, this is almost as thick as the... Uh, and I am past. pouring it incredibly slowly to avoid I'm having, if having it's a head on it. it's a plastic cup. That could have so something to do with it. So there's lots of little, you know, grooves and pits and stuff in it. All right. <sighs> Don't forget we, to sniff it. It's almost it's the whole deal there. Sniffarific. It's, uh, it's got a better smell. It That's, does have a better smell. It does. We moved up from nursing home floor to college dorm floor. Yeah. Are you doing this? We're doing this. We're doing it for... Science. It's colder than the one bar. Actually, that's not bad. It's more beer tasting than what we've had. It's hop. oh, oh. There's hops in it, definitely. Oh. What'd you find? Did you find a prize at the end? At the end, uh, you get punched in the face like an IPA. There's just it's like there's just a chunk of hops down there. Like there's a tiny German with a hop spear. Yeah, I'm getting that. Ah, ha, ha. The, oh yeah, okay. I'm that tightness. You know, you know, wow. as I had a pork rind and some water in between, so <laughs> I think the pork rind How was. Come he gets a rest. <laughs> you, th there's a refrigerator. He did it, right he did it behind my back. <laughs> uh, other other impressions. I'm still being stabbed in the face. Um, yeah, it definitely gets that pull on the side of your tongue. From the, so currently, yeah. From the <laughs> I have no facial hair, so I have like. E like the ghost of facial hair when the foam touches my upper lip it's um it's unsettling I could probably only drink one ah one okay one I'm done night. done yeah no yeah no and that was the premium one uh well, that that is yeah. that is the premium ale what's the uh the ABV on this one 
Uh, I don't think the Australians care. <laughs> um, one pint. This is not a pint. Um, it's only slightly more carbohydrates than the light uh, beer. Where the hell is the ABV on this thing? I, I, I think... still don't think they care. It's printed <laughs> in the United States. Well, not, and perhaps. At least the longer. It's not real But the Australian spirit beer. of Australia is with us. Yeah, I, I don't see that it says how much alcohol is in this. When I edit this, I'm going to find a way to find the ABV in this stuff. They don't care anymore. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car, operate machinery, or fight off wallabies. <laughs> may cause health problems. Well, if you're fighting with a wallaby, you have larger problems at that point. 11 grams of that? I don't think you're reading that right. Well, I think you're right. 11, 11 calories. Something carbs. with 11 grams of fat, <laughs> I would be carbs. much happier to eat. <laughs> 11 carbs. All right, so what are we wondering what it is? The ABV. Well, no, don't worry about it. I'll find it out later. Let's move on to the not premium area of Australia. So just lager. Not premium lager. Not special lager. Just you know what you're getting, asshole. It's Foster's in a Blue Can. It's got a nice sound to it, though. 4%. Well, 4% in Europe, Australia, and India, and 5% in the United States. So, the U.S. version is stronger than the wussy Australian version. I think they just declared war on it. That movie, Beer Fest, <laughs> lied to me. To see, if you've never seen Beer Fest, there's this big underground drinking competition, and the Australians I you were going are better drinkers yesterday. than the Americans. But our Fosters is better than their native Fosters. I have a friend that's Australian, so... <laughs> that makes it that. okay. Oh, and that's when the FCC took us down. Just like Channel 8 in the movie UHF starring... Who, incidentally, Weird Al, will be in town. Uh, in August. August. Uh, yeah, uh, first weekend of August. With a full orchestra. Yep. Yes, I think we should take a moment, especially you, Doc, to, to point out that um, although, you know, we, we don't ever hope to uh, achieve his level of stardom, each of us is united in our uh, inspiration from the great Weird Al. I myself first uh, seeing some of his material when I was a younger man and thinking, well, that guy is goofy looking and he's got an accordion. Yeah, so we have hope. I've got hope. I went through three years of high school wearing nothing but Hawaiian shirts because of where now. How many years were you in high school? Six. six, six, six. <laughs> the normal six. All right. So, classic Fosters. I think we've all had this before. So, there shouldn't be a whole lot of surprises. So, it's less about science this time and more about... Uh, yeah, good day, uh, Good day. See, that's better. Yeah, I see why Ricky Gervais just has a can of this on stage with him whenever he does a stand-up show. It is enough to remind you you're drinking beer. Yeah. It's refreshing. And then it's already killing the poison hops flavor I got from yeah. the ale. Yeah. There's no weird, um, like that weird hoppy aftertaste. This doesn't tighten up the back of your mouth. That, that's called poison. That's why we evolved that particular sense. No, I, I think Foster's so far this round. Although I've got big hopes, high hopes for Milwaukee's best oh. because it sure as hell isn't Milwaukee's worst. Okay, so for purposes of uh, full disclosure and transparency, I was born in Wisconsin. So Milwaukee is in Wisconsin, and Paps was also made in Wisconsin. So. We're glad you became what you did, because the only other thing that Wisconsin is known for producing is serial killers. So, thanks very much for turning out to be an entertainer instead. Well, serial killers have got caught. <laughs> so uh, maybe that's the only reason you know he's a serial killer, because he got caught. So, on that note, let's open up this beer. It's that cold. 
Oh, that's a beautiful sound. <laughs> that's the kind of sound you can only get from Wisconsin here. You just tried to be transparent. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I told him I'm from Wisconsin, so now they know why I said that. All right. Uh, that's a lot of water. Yeah, immediate, immediately just trying to pour. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a different cup because just getting it out of there, the first 40% of what came out of the can was clear. It didn't It didn't look like it, it had no color to it I at all. It <laughs> well, it is You're, light. So. You're not supposed to shake a beer, though. The light is regards Why did you the, shake the beer? No, I said we should have. Oh. But I think the light refers to its color and not its content. No, it uh, literally looked like color. water, him pouring yeah, it, it out. It didn't look like actual uh, beer, maybe. If you're in the area, do visit Lily's. This was either a dollar sixty-nine or a dollar ninety-nine for that thirty-two ounce can. Jeez, I, I didn't type it in. You know, technically, a bottle of water at Costco is a quarter. No, <laughs> the, the reason Bud isn't in here because it's expensive. Is a six pack was well, there, okay, the six pack was seven forty-nine, which actually fit within. <laughs> I'm gonna let our, you gentlemen determine if you want to top this off because. But, I, I, there's no way to pour this without it being I'll 50% foam. I'll drink it later. Um, <laughs> however, their, their big can, the 25 ounce can was 229, which was out of, it was too expensive for, to qualify. And I, we already had enough beer, so I didn't buy a six pack. <sighs> that foam is thick. I, like I said, you're, you're watching me pour it. I don't Yeah, know I know, else. but look, look at this. It just, yeah, but this dissipates a lot easier than the other ones have. The, the Paps, that was some kind of crazy alchemy. Yeah, oh, there we go. Uh. Smell test. Smell like beer. Smell like beer. Uh, he, he, <laughs> it's the Wisconsin in no, him. I, I <laughs> just put it back out. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, Milwaukee. Oh, Milwaukee. It's really warm. Mmm. Why is it warm? It's really but warm. It's not that bad warm, though. <laughs> I don't know how you... Oh. Everything in Wisconsin is cold except beer. <laughs> I bought it at an Asian oh. market and not a Wisconsin market. <laughs> oh. uh, and this was the first thing I bought, so when I went to the other two stores, I warmed up in the car. You, yeah, I was going to say, did you leave it in the car? <laughs> yeah. Oh, um... Turns out Bevmo actually oh. does kind of cater to their location. I went to the one in Chandler, and they didn't have any like singles of Bud or Miller or any of that stuff. But if you go to the one by ASU, they got tons of like, single stuff for the college students. Well, yeah, because poor college, college student. Things, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah this, I, this is something that I could like, drink all day. I mean, it's not like Says the Wisconsinite. You know what I drank when no. I was in college? What did you drink, Johnny? At the great University of Michigan in Ann Arbor. Uh, the only thing you were allowed to drink at that time that you would not be ridiculed for was Labatt Blue. Oh, Labatt. If you ordered That's anything Canadian, but though. Labatt Blue. Now, I'm going to take over your interesting fact segment. Okay. During that time, so Labatt Blue in the United States is, is a relatively innocuous locker. Uh, in Canada, there's no such thing as Labatt Blue. There's Labatt, and then there's various other types of Labatt that have double the alcohol and come in, in moose-sized bottles. <laughs> so I visited a friend in Canada, and he said, what kind of beer would you like? And I said, in Michigan, <laughs> oh, wow. we drink us so some Labatt in kinship with our Canadian friends. And he said, great. And he brought me this gigantic bottle of red, th it just said Labatt beer, didn't say what kind of beer, and after four of those, I decided I was going to try out for the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, so, Canada, here's to you. Australia, thank you for not being too pain painful. Wisconsin, you can go straight to hell. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky you people have cheese, because... Good lord. That was, that was a nightmare. I'm sorry, Doc. <laughs> no, but I mean, it squarely fits. It's like an American Pilsner, like Bud and all those other ones. They have very light flavors, so you can just slam them down and belch in front of your friends. 
<laughs> like so. All right. Okay, that was a relieving belch. <laughs> Our last selection is one of my personal choices because. Wait, we got to bring it in from off screen. All right. Well, we have to make the disclaimer though. It's not actually a beer, it's malt liquor. It but is it is malt liquor. It is, that's our tribute to Star Wars. It is in honor of Billy D. Williams. Who, for those who haven't seen it, please YouTube or Google on and go to YouTube. Billy D. Williams' Colt 45 uh, beer commercial or malt liquor commercial. And then just send him money so he never has to do anything like that again. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's very suave and smooth in that. And he's, everything he does. He's indeed suave and smooth. As much as I liked... Um, I'm drawing a blank. God. The guy that was in... That was Lan, Lando in... Oh, uh, Donald Glover? Donald Glover. Yeah, God, I love him, though, because... Community. Yep. I'm just terrible at names. I thought he was amazing as Lando, but nobody is as smooth as Billy Dee Williams is. So, for the viewers at home, what is the difference between beer and malt liquor? Oops, there, there's one. <laughs> the bubbles are smaller. <laughs> yeah, on this monster. Uh, we're going to have to add some sort of spreadsheet with the information because... It doesn't seem to in actually indicate that on any of these cans. <laughs> because at that point, do you really I, I care? Think, I think your average regular Colt 45 drinker isn't concerned about the math. They know what it does. They're happy to have it in their lives. And, uh, you know, that's why we're here, to do the science. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tony? Yeah. 5.6. Really? Yes. I, I thought it was like 12. I was expecting something like... Uh, Big ass 5.6%. Like, oh. Arrogant Bastard Ale is like 12 or 14. Uh, yeah, but that's a craft beer too, though. Yeah. Let's see now. And, uh... There's looking up an old address. To the Falcon. To the Falcon. Yeah, that's better than Falcon. I'll be damned, that, that's my favorite so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not really tasting anymore. Exactly. It's, it, there's no punch. I, there's actually kind of like a light, almost caramel it's the, you know, aftertaste it's to the it. malt. I wonder if they, they it, just don't put a whole lot of hops in it either. Huh. Or maybe it's like, I don't think it's more like what he was saying. But. Yeah. This round, I'm going with Billy D. I can actually finish this. Yeah, if it was like like a pool party kind of thing. Oh yeah, just sitting in the pool. It goes all day. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can have that one before you have to run to the can. Yeah. Because that, I don't know about you, but my bladder isn't that big. <laughs> my bladder is the half of that size. Well, let's let's go back to Wikipedia. What is the average size of a human bladder? <laughs> <laughs> If it's 32 ounces, that means that beer will fit. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> I knew you would be. Oh, all right. I know my dog is like 50% black. <laughs> oh, so. so do you guys want like a personal story about Colt 45? Or? Why don't you tell me how big the average human bladder is? <laughs> well, I meant to take up time to it. Well... In the meantime, while Doc is looking this up and not, well, 32 ounces. Huh. How many ounces in a gallon? Uh, so that's no, wait, wait. It's 64, what, is 128 half a gallon or a gallon? It's, also, none of these make sense. By the way, the metric system would make far more sense. I, I There's a soapbox under the table. None of this makes sense. <laughs> Ounces don't make any sense. The typical human bladder reaches its capacity between 16 and 24 ounces of urine. But the urge to urinate comes when the bladder is about one quarter full. Huh. So if you got to pee, you still got some room. So by this point, we're going to need a bathroom break. We probably should take a bathroom break and a water break 
Are you wearing a Scoops Ahoy shirt? I, I just noticed that. Oh my god, I'm their, blind. It has her flavors on the back. So, <laughs> my parents never really drank. At least not around me, right? I was about to say, my parents really never loved me, but that's besides the point. I never met my so, parents. <laughs> my dad, once a year during the Indianapolis 500, I always said it wrong. <laughs> You guys need to rename your state. Your state. Um, would drink a, like a beer, right? So one year I was probably four. That's when it started. I want some. And, you know, he was drinking one and was sitting up back. I want some. He's like, okay. So, like, did he let me take a sip out of the can? I thought it was the most disgusting tasting liquid ever in the whole creation of humanity. And I didn't drink beer again until I was like 22 or something. My first beer was a Bud Light, or not Bud Light, uh, a Budweiser, and I was probably around seven. And yeah, same reaction. This is nasty because it was also warm. Oh, my, my father drank Jack Daniels and Budweiser together. Mixed? No, not to. to the, those no. were his vices. He loved his Jack Daniels and he loved and he loved his Budweiser. And so I had a similar experience. Uh, one year for a birthday, I think it was about eight years old, I wanted to, my, my birthday present, I just wanted to stay up all night. I didn't want to have to go to bed. <laughs> you were out by nine. <laughs> so I stayed up with my father, and I wasn't going to bed. The, the assumption was I would fall asleep on, his own, on my own. And my father, I, I now know as an adult, desperately wanting his son to go to bed, <laughs> Gave him his first Bud Light, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that he would pass out silently in the corner and leave him the hell alone. So I think there are parallel universes in which none of us had those first real experiences, and perhaps we're leaders of men. Could be. We are infinite universes. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. That's why nothing matters. So the winner on this one was the Colt Forty Five. Yeah, Colt Forty Five. It does indeed the, work every time. Followed by the Blue Fosters. And who had? I, I've got to go. I've got to go. Milwaukee's best was repulsive, warm. It wasn't, but the, the green Fosters. I see why I've never seen it before because no one in their right mind. Well, the Milwaukee's it. best was better than that. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Here, let, let's let's put them in order. Yeah, like the, 45, like the the, the Fosters. Bless your Milwaukee's best. And what's, then that, what's that YouTube channel? Bless your. No, that's something else. Remember the one I showed you with the guy drinking the Southern guy that. Drinking beer? Uh, yeah. I can't, I, remember, I can't remember the name. I feel like there might be more than one YouTube channel in <laughs> which a southern guy is drinking oh, beer. Oh, and this is very specific and I can't remember. There's the Alabama boss is his name. Uh, but yeah, I, I agree with this assessment. Now, thumbs up if you want me to try Budweiser mixed with Jack Daniels. It was Jack, right? So at that and point, I am Tony Fuentes. <laughs> I'm, I'm in. <laughs> uh, I'm in, and, and I'm Johnny LeBron. I'm Doc Ballin. And this has been the Science of Drinking. Round three to come. Tall Boy Edition to round two. Have a good one, folks. I'm going to get some water.